Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to just dig right into some old books that I read last year that I kind of liked. Now, by no means are these my absolute favorites, but I will share with you the ones that I enjoyed the most. To start, I have Illusionarium by Heather Dixon. First and foremost, I bought this book because the cover was absolutely gorgeous with the whole steampunk look that it's got going on here. It was absolutely gorgeous. I can't remember everything about it, but what I do remember was that these characters were just running around. It was non-stop action. It was very, it got a little bit weird, but it was like an interesting weird. Um, I really liked it. The whole storyline took place like in an aerial city like in the sky and there was a lot of talk about um, this um, chemical that gives you hallucinations but only a few people can actually control the hallucinations yeah I would definitely recommend this book if you're a younger reader it was very entertaining I mean the hallucinations are all done with a chemical so I guess you could kind of say it's kind of like a drug I guess but um, they didn't make it sound that way in the book at all and then you know of course there's always your consequence for, for using it um, which was very, very interesting. I also read The Dead House. Now, I got this for my birthday because I really want to start reading more scary stories. This one is about a girl who goes to a school and, of course, she has another side to her. Basically, the whole story is, like, talking about what happened in the past. It's not really her telling you anything, like most stories are. It's actually just video footage and diary entries and just... A whole bunch of collaborations of doctor's notes and stuff that talks about her as a patient really because they don't really know what happened and they're discovering her other side which was like you know her other side like it was really interesting it was a little it was a little creepy I guess this was done by Don Kurtogic I can't pronounce that very well but good book to read next I have Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs, yes. I was really hoping this book would be scary and spooky, cause you know, it kinda gives off that kind of a vibe, you know, black and white with the whole like weird, you know, weird, like weird pictures and stuff, you know, I just thought it'd be a little more spookier. In truth, it really wasn't, it was super disappointing, but it was still a very good book. I would still recommend it. Um, It definitely was, you know, geared more towards a younger audience, cause it's very lighthearted, but it was still very fun to read. Up next, I read Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. I read this book over the summer of last year, and I can't believe I read this whole thing. <laughs> it was like 850 pages, but I did it. It's about a character named Claire, and she's in um, 1945, and she goes back in time to 1743 in um, Scotland. So. Very, very, very cute. Um, I know this got turned into a TV show and all that kinds of stuff, but I never watched it. So, but I'm just telling you, the book was pretty cute. It did not need to be 850 pages long. I'm just gonna throw that out there. It did get pretty logging at the end, but you know, it was worth it. I would, I would recommend it if you want to read something that's big and, and humorous and uh, had a lot of uh, culture in it. Also, this one was unique to me. Someone brought this into my lending library and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna read this. It's Peeps by Scott Westerfeld. This is basically a unique take on vampires. Now, we call them vampires, but in here he calls them peeps because basically in this story, it's a parasite. And I, this was my top favorite of the entire year because I've read it three times. The first time I read it in one night, and then after that I just kind of like jumped around and just read the whole thing and just at my own pace because it was so entertaining, it was so honest, and the main character was just so relatable, and the humor was my thing. I wouldn't recommend this to you if you don't like anything gross or like, not quite gory, but just disturbing because he talks a lot about parasites and stuff like that. I personally adored it. I loved it. I found it absolutely fascinating. Again, real good read. Alright, thanks for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe and leave a comment if you have read these books or if you want to read these books. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Until next time, bye!